lot of people don't eat sufficient protein because mm -hmm. they're worried. And, and I'm talking about people in sort of our space, in the low carbohydrate mm -hmm. space, right? Um, because they're worried yeah. about gluconeogenesis. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, what's happening there? Should they worry? Well, no, they shouldn't, is the short answer. Absolutely not. Consistent with not eating ridiculously too much protein, which I challenge you to do ongoingly for more than about a week at a time and see if you can even do it. Because it gets to a point where your body will send you such powerful, not only satiety, but actually revulsion signals that it will stop you from doing that. You will not be able to overeat on protein ongoingly. Your body will not allow that. It's not silly. Your body has evolved over, well, at least 3,800 million years. It really knows what it's doing pretty well in that regard. Um, The, the thing with gluco, with the gluconeogenic effect is that that's partly what's responsible for that insulin bump that we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, certain amino acids have a direct effect on insulin release without reference to producing sugar first. Yes. But if you eat a bolus of protein that is sufficient, some of those amino acids will end up being deaminated and will end up producing a gluconeogenic effect, i.e. a little, a very little sugar spike. And that will cause an insulogenic response. And it's that which looks after your kidneys and your thyroid and all that kind of stuff. In the absence of taking in a meal containing carbohydrates, which you should not do. 